Okay, so I know I am shining bright like a diamond right now, but you know that just means my skin is flourishing. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I believe it's in this corner. Don't forget to hit that bell as well. You will be getting notifications of when I post these videos. I am trying to get these videos out to you guys because I know I be slacking. You don't even have to tell me. And did you guys know we have reached 6,000 subscribers? Shout out to us, a shout out to y'all. And thank everybody that has joined the Day With Paris a family. I am so happy and you know, you guys mean so much to me. I'm going to be trying out, and I know I talk to my hands, I'm like real. I know, let me stop, <laughs> let me calm down. But as you guys see by the title, I'm, I'm going to be trying out these new makeup products that I have been using over the past few weeks. Some of them I actually have yet to use, so we're gonna see how they all act together right now in this video. Okay, so what do I need to do first? What I really wanna do first is give myself a little bit of baby hairs like can i do that y'all like, okay so i need to hurry up and do this because i am starving i have done some swoopity swoop swoops on these little on these baby hairs i guess i do have a little baby hair action y'all let me get this shine under control because y'all i promise you i'm just glowing right now that's all it is so the first thing i'm going to be using is this makeup forever step one smoothing primer so I've been using this for a while now and I won't lie, I kind of like how it is. <laughs> so you know how like, you get those little travel sizes or those little samples from Sephora? I got it from that. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could see it, but I not like I was supposed to. I popped a pimple and it's like raw. That junk hurt so bad, so bad. Okay, so I like put this all on my face. I have combination skin. So, as you guys see, I'm real bright right now. But I promise you, if I don't put, um, if I don't moisturize my face like I just did, that's why I'm like super duper shiny. <laughs> if I don't do that, my face will be so dry. Like, I will be like breaking out because I'm dry. Like, that makes any sense. Okay, so a new eyebrow product that I have got on trend with finally is this anastasia dip brow pomade and i have the style chocolate so as you guys see i've already used it i already dipped into it because i wanted to make sure first off that it was my you know correct shade and i wasn't just wasting money or anything <laughs> i used it in a recent video that you guys have seen and i loved it like i love how it came out i love the finish um so i honestly think this is about to be my new favorite brow pomade So I have done my eyebrows off camera. I have cleaned them up with some LA Girl Pro Concealer and Beautiful Bronze. And honestly, if I don't mention something, I really didn't, you know, get something new of that product. So I'm really just gonna be talking about the things that I have recently purchased, stuff like that. Okay, so um, you know when you go to Sephora, you know when it's your birthday, um, a shout out to all my cancers, but you know when it's your birthday in Sephora, you'll, they'll give you like, little free stuff so i went and got the glam glow glow starter this is the mega illuminating moisturizer in the color nude glow so hopefully this does not like make me ashy i'm gonna go in with this foundation brush and just like put it in the certain areas where i feel like i'm gonna need it the most so I really don't understand why <laughs> I just like basically mattified it my mattified my face to not make it all shiny and stuff and look what I just did made it shiny again <laughs> okay so I'm going to skip eyes for now because I don't think I'm gonna do much on my eyes but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet so I'm gonna do my face I don't have anything new to color correct with, so I'm just going to go in with my LA Girl Concealer that I just used to clean up my brows and cover all the dark marks on my, on my forehead and on my face. So 
So I'm really trying to go for not like um, a real heavy look today, but I don't know how this look is gonna turn out and all I wanna do is go get something to eat after this cause I'm hungry. Okay, so for foundation, I picked up two different foundations and I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, the new shade that Jackie Ina created. I've been using that in Spiced Rum. So I don't know if I wanna use this foundation or not or go in with this. This L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup is oil free in the color Deep Golden, so W10. So I think I want to mix these foundations because um, I've used the Born This Way foundation in some recent videos and it kind of looked a little orange on me and I wanted it to like, I was waiting for it to kind of oxidize and get a little darker over time but I don't feel like it did so I'm going to kind of mix the L'Oreal and the Too Faced foundation we're gonna see how this turns out I'm gonna do one pump on the back of my hand I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced foundation in the center of my face and see how this works out and then with the L'Oreal foundation I'm gonna go around the perimeter of my head and hopefully you know that all counteracts it all works out together and we're gonna blend that out so i've been wanting to try out some new foundations for a while now i'm not gonna lie and when i saw that jackie Ina, um created some new foundation shades with the Too Faced. I decided, let me let me try out the foundation. I don't know if I may or may not like it, but who who knows until I try it. Um, so I'm hoping this is looking okay. I feel like I'm a tad bit red, what I could kind of see in here, but I may just be, you know, tripping. So I've gotten another concealer shade from NARS. Um, I love NARS's Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand or Amande. So I decided to get a lighter shade just for those extra times. I want to be even most popping and most snatched. I went in and got Walnut. So Walnut is the shade right on Zarbon. So I love it. It still does what I need it to do. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer from both shades with both shades to highlight my face and go from there. So I'm not gonna do too much because like I just said, I just wanna go get something to eat, y'all. I love this concealer, you guys. It just looks so good and so flawless and so natural. Like, come on now. <laughs> so I don't have a new setting powder. I'm like in love with Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So I'm going to continue to use this as of right now. It just gives me the um, most natural and glowing effect all at the same time. But I will start trying out a new setting powder. I just don't want to risk it and end up being, you know, ashy. It'll be flashback. I don't have time for that, you guys. Like, come on now. Oh, oh my gosh. So I did honestly have, <laughs> now that I think about it, I did have um, this a black opal foundation stick and it is very light for my foundation like for me so i'm going to use this as my highlighting shade but well my other concealer is new so we just gonna keep this for for another video <laughs> i do have a shade that is darker you guys because i was wondering like why don't i have my contour in yet i'm going to cream contour this is going to be a very fun activity not I don't cream contour at all and it's gonna be real, real interesting so I have the black opal true color skin perfecting stick foundation in the color mocha suede mocha so I'm going to be using this to cream contour so fingers crossed that this comes out good so I'm just going to go in the areas that I um regular regularly contour with my 
true complexion with my black radiance contour palette but yeah you guys this is not going to work at all <laughs> i don't know if you guys could see you probably can it's very light well you know what we're gonna make it work even though it's not coming even though it's not as dark as i would like it it is warming my face up just a little bit so i'm gonna go in with this and then i do have something else i can probably use to um set this contour okay so just to be on the safe side and bring some more color to my face so i did use something new to contour but as you guys see it's not gonna work out <laughs> i'm going with my contour palette by black radiance and go ahead and set this cream contour so nothing moves around and everything is you know okie dokie artichoke okay so for my eyes i'm going to be very simple and very plain because like i said i don't have um I don't have any new eyeshadow palettes or I really don't feel like putting eyeshadow all on my face or all on my eyes right now. So we're going to be real simple. We're going to go in with my all time favorite eyeshadow, Brown Script by MAC. <laughs> Blend that into my crease and on my lid and then I, after that I'll go in with like a shimmer shade. Well honestly I'm just going to put this Brown Script all on my mobile eyelid, my, my crease, my brow bone all that just so it has some color to it so i've been using this mascara by matt um it's called insta curl lash so one thing that i love about this mascara wand like it looks simple it looks like it don't do much but you guys this wand like the the, the bristle part it moves so if i turn this bad boy as you guys see it is like moving like it's curling so it makes it a lot easier to get in those hard areas especially when you're like struggling <laughs> basically okay so this is what the face is looking like right now i'm not gonna lie um if i'm looking correctly <laughs> i'm loving how this has turned out um especially this uh glam glow glow starter stuff i felt like i was gonna be kind of ashy i'm not gonna lie but it has given me this a very nice luminous uh like glow i have no highlight on you guys and don't you guys just see this glow like i'm just tripping or i'm just tripping but this is beautiful so i'm not gonna add any lashes but i do want to talk about some lashes that i have that i've recently been wearing um i've been rocking prim and prissy um hair companies their mink lashes so i've been in the style le jade for a very long time you guys so i've been rocking the style le jade in these lashes and you guys when i say these are some beautiful behind lashes they are so soft they don't even feel like they're on your face like like i cannot ask for a better lash because this has done it for me so even though i'm not gonna put any lashes on now if i was to and if especially if i'm going out or something i would definitely go with my le jade lashes by prim and prissy and if you want to get any of these lashes or you want to see the other mink lashes that we carry so go on over to our website so you guys can go ahead and shop for your latest mink lashes we have bundles you guys all right so moving on to the next product i'm going to go in with setting spray so i have honestly three different setting sprays that i have purchased recently i finally 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 got some um fix plus by mac so i'm just not getting on the bandwagon when it comes to this fix plus um i like it I also have the urban decay all nighter setter setting spray because i keep pronouncing that wrong the star of the show for today that i'm going to be talking about is this mario badescu facial spray that i've been using as a setting spray you guys i love it like i'm not gonna lie it makes my face it doesn't make my face feel so dry it feels nourishing it feels i feel awake i feel alive i feel good when i spray this on my face not gonna lie i love spraying a lot on because i feel like why not so while i'm fanning my face i'm going to be going in with this anastasia glow kit um i've been using this for probably a few months now 
um so i've gotten used to it i've picked out the colors you know i can use and i cannot use but i'm loving this natural glow by this glam glow like you guys i'm gonna go in with hot sand and use this to highlight my face and like i just said i'm not going to go in oh my elbow <laughs> okay so i'm not gonna go in with a lot of hot sand i just want it to look like i have just a touch of glow especially with this um glam glow under this i don't need a lot i really don't but knowing me <laughs> i'm gonna add a lot okay so staying on the natural side of things since i've gone very natural very glowy i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty fenty gloss or fenty glow and apply that to my lips um i'm not a big lipstick person i love chapstick and chapstick will always ride with me to the death i love this lip gloss um it's not like sticky and it doesn't it just it does what i need it to do it, it keeps my lips moisturized and not dry I don't feel like I have to keep applying this to my lips because it just because it stays where it needs to stay and it does the job. Okay, and last but not least, because I know me and I just can't go without setting my face. It's not a new product, but it's my all-time fave. I'm gonna be going in with the Matte Studio Fix Powder in NW45 to set everywhere that I didn't set. Even on top of my concealer, I'm going to set because I just don't want anything to move around and I just want everything to look seamless you guys seamless now I can say I am done so this is the end result of the new products I have used I am actually loving how everything is looking right now um later on I'll purchase some more stuff and you know try it out but I love how this foundation even though I mixed it too I love how it has um turned out I already know that this black opal foundation stick may never be used for another contouring uh procedure but i love how everything turned out give this video a thumbs up if you agree with me also give this video a thumbs up because y'all look at my hair like my hair is growing oh also make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out hit that bell as well also you guys let me know what other kind of content videos you guys want to see um what kind of makeup looks you guys want to see hair i'm i've taken out the weave so i will do some more natural hair tutorials but yeah you guys um as always stay black stay blessed and stay beautiful and i'll see you guys on the next video bye you guys